Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. So Young Hollywood, it's a very special day because I have a guest here with me, Jason Schwartzman, and we're gonna just kind of take a peek into his exciting life that he lives. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you're giving him high hopes. Yeah. Well, it's not that exciting, <laughs> trust me. I can fight my own fight. No, you can't. You got to be involved in the process. Yes. Playing the voice of Ash, yes. an, an adorable little fox. So what do you think your favorite part from getting to be the character to like being involved in the whole process has been? Well, well, my favorite part is actually seeing the movie for the first time because, you know, it really is like I am the voice of this character, but I am not the animator of this character, nor did I build this puppet. Right. Because this is stop motion, so to make my character move, they take a picture of him and they move his ear a little, they take another picture, they take another, and they take thousands of pictures right. and then they hit play and it, and it moves and it spits and it looks weird. Here, put these bandit hats on. I don't have a bandit hat. But I modified this tube sock. We look good. Yeah, we do. So that was my favorite part of, of, of this whole process is just, seeing that and then my other favorite part was the way Wes Anderson decided to get our performances on tape because the way they do animated movies is you know the actors are in recording booths alone but in this it was really an unusual and unorthodox way of doing it where Wes basically got the entire cast together we went and lived on a farm together and we did it more like a live play I, uh, or I, I mean like a, or like a radio a radio play or something and we were all running around with, and there was a guy with a microphone chasing us. <laughs> and if the characters in the movie are digging, we were all really sitting there digging, myself and George Clooney and Bill Murray. And yeah. what you're seeing on screen was really happening in real life. It was kind of like a more documentary style. Now, was that the first time that you had met a George Clooney? Yeah, I never worked with him. Um, and it was pretty exciting. I mean, he's just a great actor too. So, you know, any experience where I can learn from someone, it's pretty cool. And I was able to observe him and, and be close to him and watch him, so it was cool. Look, the two women you saw him with are missing. Do you know where they live? I don't know where any of these people live. Let me ask you something. If you don't know where they live, how do you know they're missing? It's an excellent point. Of stuff. You actually went to the small screen this year mm -hmm. on HBO with Bored to Death. Tell me what you love most about working with Zach and Ted Danson and why you love this character. I'd always wanted to play a private detective, but it's a struggle, you know, how can it be reinterpreted? How will it be unusual? Right. We've seen it so many times. And um, I just knew my favorite character, Jonathan Ames, my favorite writer, the two of these things, it will, it, it will come out different and, and unique and because of the show and Jonathan I've been able to meet Ted and Zach and um, it is a crew as I like that word that you use that word and every morning when I would be wake up in the morning and I would be so exhausted I would just think oh I'm gonna get to see Ted and Zach today and, and work with Jonathan and I would it was so, it was invigorating. Now being in the, a band at Coconut Records do you play any instruments? Yeah I play them all. Oh. Uh, on their album, yeah. But I enjoy the recording because I, I, I'm pretty much alone myself as the musician and then a producer and an engineer. So how much time do you think you actually spend on your music versus like with your acting? The time, I mean, you can't have that much time in your day, but how do you like to allot your schedule? You know, I'm not like one of these actors who gets parts all year long. I'm just like going from one thing to the next. Like some actors like literally work all the time right. and they like basically just say I want that to be in that movie. Just like I would order a pizza, they order like a part. So I can't just wake up and be in a movie. But music, I can wake up and go begin to write. So I try to spend minimum of an hour writing a day, but maximum, you know, the whole day. Really disciplined. That's awesome. Well, not really. I mean, a lot of it you just walk around in your underwear, and then you're like, and you're like, that next good. thing you know, you're like on Craigslist, and you're like, <laughs> googling weird, posting that you're <laughs> yeah. a detective. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in theory, you're asking me questions. I'm giving you the best case scenario. Yeah. I'm giving you at my best. That's what I would want to be doing. On a good day. On for a you. great day. Yeah. But on a bad day, I'm just like. Yeah, I'm just in my underwear. Like one time I was, um, my wife's shoes were just on the thing and I had to get something from the, from the car. So I just like put on her <laughs> shoes, but my foot's bigger than hers. Yeah. So my feet were like, I was like using her 
shoes as like sandals in a weird way, but they were like weird high-heeled, like gold shoes. And I had like boxers on and like a weird zip up. And I looked like an insane, like That's if anyone like awesome. got me, if anyone had like seen me, I would have looked like, I was like in high heels. <laughs> <laughs> High heels <laughs> in my underwear a with a hoodie. Dresser. Yeah, it was bad. With like glasses on and like, yeah, weird. Seeing your career from Rushmore to where you are today, do you have something that you envision yourself that is like a goal, an end goal that one day you hope to to be in a, a different spot or achieve something that you haven't got to do yet? Well, one day I would like to direct something, but before I do that, I would I, I would like to play a part where I can wear prosthetics. I've always wanted to, you know really? when you see actors yeah, who are like yeah. covered, like, the, they're only, like you can't really recognize right. them. I've never been able to have a weird nose that comes out like that, or huge ears, right. or like a weird, you know, weird like eyes. Like rings or yeah, something Yeah, I just, crazy I like admire that. like special effects yes. makeup. I would kick myself if before my time ran out, you know, professionally here as an actor, that I could do that. We'll put it out to the universe right now. Pros okay, good. Prosthetics. prosthetics. <laughs> That's a funny thing to put out in the universe. Yeah, right? Prosthetics.